Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Hello everyone, welcome back to case number 14 in GIT Contra Studies. Today our case is 67 year old patient presented with dyspeptic symptoms for 6 months duration. So this is the anteroposterior spot radiograph of the uh, barium meal series. So when you are looking at this one, the, the stomach is uh, at the normal position and the uh, distensibility is also normal but when you look at closely here you can see a filling defect in relation to the lesser curvature of the stomach here you can see the margin of the filling de partial filling defect yes partial filling defects in the lesser curvature so however no evidence uh, there are few uh, ulcerations or contrast more rounded contrast fillings so it's an mass lesion in the lesser curvature of the stomach with some ulcerated areas so it's an aggressive kind of a lesion here you can see the rugae are also thicken so rugae are also thicken this areas these areas you can't see any rugae pattern because of this lesion the rugae pattern most likely disrupted and you don't see any synchronous lesions as well however uh, there is passage of contrast to the first part of the duodenum so there's no complete obstruction some kind of partial obstruction is there and uh, the gastroesophageal junction at the normal position no lesions in the lower esophagus or the fundus so it's kind of a the mass lesion in the lesser curvature of the stomach. So here the diagnosis is gastric lymphoma. The differential diagnosis is gastric adenocarcinoma or gastric CA. And also another one is just gastrointestinal stromal tumors. So those are the two differential diagnosis. So, actually, uh, the next line of investigation is to contrast in a CT, neck, chest, and abdomen to find out other lesions in lymphoma, with the, and uh, also local invasion. You have to find out. So, actually, gastric lymphoma occurs in all patient above sixty years age, and also it can be primary or secondary. Secondary means uh, there's involvement of lymphoma that means lymph node enlargement in the body. So Hodgkin's disease and non-Hodgkin disease. So this but this one is primary gastric lymphoma. So that concludes case number 14 in GIT contrast studies. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and then you will get notifications of our new videos. And also you can comment on our videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.